In a typical synapse, say that found in a neuromuscular junction or an interneuronal junction, a fixed synaptic knob secretes neurotransmitters into a specialized region of the fixed postsynaptic cell and stimulation of the postsynaptic cell, given that neurons and muscles are excitable, may cause it to go to action potential. Apparently, there are other types of synapses possible known as neuroeffector junctions, especially common in the autonomic nervous system, where autonomic neurons innervate smooth muscle sets, or even other types of cells such as immune cells. In these synapses, the neurons are varicose, with a series of swellings where the varicosities possess many mitochondria and vesicles, while the intervaricosities do not. There can be no fixed junction with this type of neuron because these neurons are actually capable of movement. And in the case of immune cells, the effector cells are certainly capable of movement. And so there are no effector cells which show specializations such as the motor end plate of a muscle cell. Nevertheless, these neurons release neurotransmitters. And their effector cells, smooth muscle cells and immune cells, for example, express receptors for these neurotransmitters. Rather than having neurotransmitters secreted at one single point, neurotransmitters are thus spread across a field, and the effector cells may experience different levels of neurotransmitters based on their proximity to the neuron. Given that both are capable of movement, this may vary. Nevertheless, the neuron is secreting neurotransmitters, which is being perceived by the receptors on the effector cells. So these effector cells are innervated, although the innervation does not occur at a classical type of synapse. Stimulation of alpha or beta receptors in eosinophils and neutrophils has been shown to have a number of effects, including effects on chemotaxis, phagocytosis, and the production of a number of granule components such as superoxide ions. The activation of receptors for norepinephrine have effects on mast cells and basophils, such as the release of histamine and the production of cytokine local hormones. Activation of receptors for norepinephrine in macrophages and dendritic cells has been shown to have a number of effects, such as influencing chemotaxis, phagocytosis, the presentation of antigens, and the production of a variety of local hormones. Norepinephrine influences the activity of NK cells through both alpha and beta receptors. Lymphocytes primarily express only the beta-2 receptor, and norepinephrine has been demonstrated to affect a variety of lymphocyte functions, such as antibody production, the differentiation of T cells, the production of cytokine local hormones, movement of both lymphocytes and NK cells, and others.